Hi everyone. This is Manmadhi Krishna. Today's our topic is a cleaning and sanitizing agents in food processing industry. In our previous episode, we have discussed about cleaning and sanitizing agents part 1. that is detergents different kinds of detergents and its application in food processing industries a uh, today's topic is disinfectants what are the disinfectants which are available uses in the food processing industry to disinfect the food contact surfaces as well as water to disinfect to sanitize the water to sanitize to disinfect the food a uh, disinfectants which are widely used in uh, food processing industries hospital industries beverages industries and pharma industries so let us discuss about the first one is the chlorine and chlorine compounds then iodine the third one is quaternary ammonium compounds the fourth one is chlorine dioxide and fifth one is paraxiastic acid the last one is the ozone so these are the major broad spectrum disinfectants which are used extensively in uh, different sectors to disinfect or to sanitize the food contact surfaces and non food contact surfaces and food let us discuss about the chlorine first chlorine and iodine these are all uh, comes under the halogens uh, why because we call it as halogens halogen is an element when it reacts with metal which can produce the salts so halogen is an element for example halogens are like a chlorine and iodine and benzene etc these are all reactive compared with the other disinfectants the halogen group like chlorine bromine iodine etc these are all more reactive so it can oxidate the vegetative cells when we disinfect the surfaces and when we disinfect the water so let us discuss about the chlorine compounds first and this is this is cheaply available the chlorine compound cheaply the chlorine so chlorine available in different forms and this is available in the gas state and chlorine also available in aqua state so the chlorine is a compound so which can available with sodium chloride or which can available with potassium chloride or calcium chloride when the chlorine is the free chlorine so the chlorine is available with the calcium chloride so calcium hypochlorite is in the powdered state whereas sodium hypochlorite and potassium hypochlorite is in the liquid state so the liquid state the chlorine is looks like light is available with the compounds like calcium hypochlorite or sodium hypochlorite or potassium hypochlorite so these are the different salts the compounds so calcium hypochlorite which is available in the powder state and various sodium hypochlorite available in the liquid state and the potassium hypochlorite also available in the liquid state let us discuss about the calcium hypochlorite calcium hypochlorite is nothing but like a bleach so it commercially it is available about 33 to 35 percent for industrial purpose and for household bleach is about some 5 to 15 percent is available and this this sodium hypochlorite also the commercially which is available 12 to 17 percent and household bleach is available 5 to 9 or 5 to 8 percent of sodium hypochlorite the food processing industries uh, like meat processing industry or seafood processing industries wet processing industries so widely using the sodium hypochlorite NaOCl as a disinfectant why because this is a cheaply available and more reactive can effectively controlling the vegetative growth microbial load reducing the microbial load so there are lot of benefits 
that's why the most of the wet processing industries like meat processing industry and uh, seafood processing industries are using this sodium hypochlorite as a disinfectant so in this sodium na plus ocl minus so sodium is the cationic positive and ocl is the anionic negative how it will react the mechanism of killing so let us discuss so when we add the sodium hypochlorite when we add the sodium hypochlorite into the water so especially to disinfect to sanitize the water for drinking purpose also below 2 ppm chlorine is using as per the eu norms also 2 ppm below 2 ppm chlorine is advisable for drinking purpose which can kill the harmful bacteria which can, which can reduce the bacterial load also now let us discuss about the reaction how it will how it will kill the vegetative growth how it will kill the uh, bacteria microorganisms which are in the water are in the food so when we add the sodium hypochlorite into the water what will when we add the water sodium hypochlorite when we add into the water what will happen you know so NaOCl plus H2O gives rise to HOCl hypochlorous acids or chloramines plus NaOH sodium hydroxide then this hypochlorous acid is further disintegrates into further disintegrates into HCl plus O this O is called the oxygen nascent oxygen so when the HOCl hypochlorous acids further disintegrates which releases the oxygen nascent oxygen in the water it releases so which is more oxidative again is the vegetative cell now the third kind of disinfectant is quaternary ammonium compounds which is used as surface disinfectants mostly which is used widely used in the hospital industries to sanitize the surface which is also called as quack quaternary ammonium compounds is also called as quack in food processing industry also surface sanitizing agent which is usually a surface sanitizing agent which is an antimicrobial agent so it is recognized for its different properties since 19,000 the mechanism of action of chlorine dioxide is still entirely not understood because of how it will inactivate the bacteria so the many applications about the chlorine dioxide chlorine dioxide is mostly using in for washing the fruits and vegetables in agricultural processing industries and aquaculture processing industries many industries and to disinfect food processing equipments also chlorine dioxide is using to sanitize the water to disinfect the water also chlorine dioxide is widely using the acids the peroxy acids also using to disinfect the microbes hydrogen peroxide also there and peroxyacetic acid also there so their applications also using the food industry and hospital industries the last one is the ozone last one is the ozone so both three so ozone also used as a disinfectant antimicrobial agent either in the gaseous stage or in the aqua solution to disinfect the vegetables, fresh produce and the fruit industry and to disinfect the uh, fishes, shrimps and agricultural products also. Ozone is highly unstable gas. So when we wanted to disinfect the food or food contact surfaces, when we want to disinfect the food, then only we have to generate the ozone. So we can how to generate the ozone? So we can generate the ozone in the following ways irradiation of air using high intensity uv lamp so we can irradiate the air using high intensity uv lamps we can generate the o3 
and the second one is the passage of dry air across high voltage discharge gaps also we can release the ozone because of ozone is highly unstable must be generated at the point of application using the below methods so which is widely used as a disinfectant in the food processing treatment and storage so in our country so most of the food processing industries sodium hypochlorite is used as a disinfectant because of its highly reactive and cheaply available disinfectant so let us discuss see when we receive the sodium hypochlorite when we receive the chlorine solution from our suppliers for example if the chlorine as per our terms they have to supply from 5 to 7 percent for example upon receiving of the every lot of the chlorine from the suppliers we have to collect the samples and estimate the estimate in our in-house lab what is the exact percentage of the chlorine in the tins so chlorine percentage we have to estimate in the titrometric method so if you want i will do the separate video how to do the titrometry analysis to estimate the chlorine estimation of available chlorine in sodium hypochlorite why because the supplier if suppose the supplier is supplied six percentage of chlorine but the percentage also the chlorine also when we keep in the room temperature it will gradually disintegrate chlorides and chloramines it will disintegrate why because after one week if you keep the six percentage of the chlorine solution sodium hypochlorite in the chair in the in a, in a closed lid and you can keep it for one week after one week the six percentage chlorine will down to a 5.2 percent or something like that 10 percent the chlorine will get disintegrate into the chlorides so like that this will inactivate so what we have to do is upon receipt of the every lot of the chlorine we must estimate the available chlorine in the sodium hypochlorite once we estimate the available chlorine suppose the estimation so 6.2 is the percentage of chlorine available chlorine in the solution so we have to prepare one ppm means first we have to take the big tub of 100 liter sub tub we have to take then we have to measure the how much ml of chlorine is added to 100 liters of water to give rise to the 200 ppm of solution to disinfect the floor so let us there is a simple formula here is the required ppm is 200 ppm is the required ppm 200 by 6.2 so here is the required ppm by percentage of available chlorine into 10 is equal the ml of required chlorine in a liter gives rise to the 200 ppm the required chlorine in ppm by percentage of available chlorine into 10 so we need is 200 ppm chlorine to disinfect the floor so how to prepare 200 ppm chlorine the required ppm is 200 by 6.2 is the percentage of the available chlorine into 10 then it will give rise 3 ml of chlorine in 1 liter chlorine in 1 liter is 200 ppm it will give 200 ppm concentration so like that we can calculate the required amount of chlorine per 1 liter this is the formula so 3 3 ml is the required chlorine in 1 liter of water to get 200 ppm solution so for 100 liters of water simply 3 ml multiply by 100 li 100 liters means into 100 so it will give us right? 300 ml of chlorine to be added in 100 liters of water it will give rise 200 ppm of the chlorine solution to disinfect the floor this is how we can uh, prepare the chart the chlorination charts for food dips we can prepare the chlorination charts for hand dip we can prepare the chlorination charts for floor disinfection utensil disinfection you know the food industries like wet processing industries uh, meat processing industries for utensils washing 50 ppm and food conduct surfaces also 
uh, they are maintaining the 50 bpm uh, chlorine wash after that they will neutralize that is the different mechanism of floor washing also 20 bpm they have to prepare the solutions based on the concentration there is a simple formula required chlorine bpm into percentage of chlorine into 10 thank you those who have not watched my previous video about the sanitation cleaning and sanitation sanitizing agent in food processing industries i've given the link below please watch the video and comment on the video like thank you